And the report saw Tyreek Evans nearing a one-year deal with the Indiana Pacers. Um, and, uh, listen, you're saying, finally, uh, somebody in the East signs someone. Uh, and that's how trash the East is, right? Um, listen, um, there's a lot of, if you think about it, too, there's a lot of tons of one-year deals this free agency. And why, what I think are... What I think is happening is that I think teams are making some cap space for the next free agency when there's Kawhi, Durant, Thompson, many more talents next year. So next year it's going to be uh, explosive. Um, he's a solid player um, for the Pacers. I you figure he's going to replace Stevenson in some capacity. Uh, but the thing that I worry about um, and again, the East is wide open now. I'm not saying, you know, um, maybe even you're going to start Evans as a, as a, as a point card. Uh, that's maybe something to, uh, consider. Um, and you might even say that you're surprised that he didn't sign with the Warriors. The thing with Evans that you got to be worried about is that he's injured 85% of the time. I just throw this out. Listen, I know he wasn't injured for uh, Memphis uh, last year. He played 52 games last year. Still missed 30 of them. Okay, so in three seasons, he's played 80 games. Injury prone. Is he worth this type of money? And I believe it's $12 million a year. You might say, listen, twelve million for one year isn't bad comparing to having a uh, an injury prone Parsons for four years. But does that that does not equate to the original exaggeration? Okay, so you know, just my thoughts on that move there. Um, Surprise that no. <laughs> I, right? I, you figure at this point that everyone's going to the Warriors, right? Surprised Evans didn't go there. Hope all is well.